the Haken Ashi Smooth indicator is available, various platforms on the Trading Finder website. From this section, you can download the indicator file for MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 platforms and apply it to the chart. Traders can also refer to this page to understand how the indicator works and how to use it. From the Navigator section, we select the indicator file and drag it onto the chart to run the indicator. Just make sure to check the Allow DLL Imports option in the common settings and then click the Confirm button. We select the indicator file from the navigator section and execute the indicator, dragging the file onto the chart. Just make sure to check the allow DLL imports option in the common settings, and then click the confirm button. Once the indicator is applied to the chart, the Heiken Ashi candles will be displayed on it. This indicator is an advanced and refined version of the classic Heiken Ashi indicator, which provides traders with greater accuracy in identifying trends using the smooth mode. Here it clearly shows us the bearish and bullish trends which we can use as support and resistance levels. This indicator is an advanced and refined version of the classic Heiken Ashi indicator, which provides traders with greater accuracy in identifying trends. Using the smooth mode, here, the bearish and bullish trends are clearly shown to us, and we can use them as support and resistance levels. In the input section, options are available. Display settings include three modes, light, dark, and custom. Selecting light creates a light chart template. Choosing dark applies a dark template. Custom keeps your template. Indicator settings focus on the first moving average, where you can adjust the second moving average period. By selecting the light option, you will get a light template for the edge chart. Template that is set for my chart. By selecting the dark option, a dark template is applied to the chart, and by choosing the custom option, it keeps your custom template and only runs the indicator. The next section is about the indicator settings. You can adjust the settings for the first moving average here, and from this part, you can set the period for the second moving average, which is set to 6 and 2 by default. You can also change the type of method for the second moving average, which shows as a number. The first option is set to smooth, and the second is linear weighted, and you can change these by adjusting the numbers. To understand the number settings, I'll switch to MetaTrader 5 and continue explaining this section. The first moving average is set based on this section, where the first option is simple, the second is exponential, the third is smoothed, and the fourth is linear weighted. In MetaTrader 4, this is set to the second option. The settings are set to 6 and 2. You can change the type of method for the second moving average, which shows as a number. The first option is set to smooth, and the second is linear weighted, and you can switch them by changing the numbers. To understand the number settings, I will switch to MetaTrader 5 and continue explaining this section. The first moving average is set based on this part where the first option is simple, the second is exponential, the third is smooth, and the fourth is linear weighted. In MetaTrader 4, this is set to the second option, which is smooth, and the second moving average is set to the third option, which is linear weighted. You can adjust the settings based on these options. Here, I've set the first number to 0 and the second number to 2. Along with the dark template, I click Apply. So, the dark template is applied to my chart. So, the first moving average is set to smooth, and the second moving average is set to linear weighted, and you can adjust the settings based on these options. Here, I've set the first number to 0, and the second number to 2, along with the dark template. And then I click Apply. So, the dark template has been applied to my chart. The Osmosteroid Hikanish candles were displayed for me, and their type. Change to the moving average. Well friends, we've reached the end of this indicator tutorial. We would love for you to share your thoughts and suggestions with us in the comments section. We'd be happy to hear your thoughts and suggestions in the comments section.